Hi everyone and welcome back to this new video. In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to fix Twitch stream um, buffering issues in 2025, uh, whether you are watching on desktop or mobile. So let's smooth it out step by step. So buffering usually means slow or unstable internet. So run a speed test using fast.com or speedtest.net. So for example, like this, you go here, uh, fast.com and you see the internet if it's good or no so if you are under that switch to a faster Wi-Fi or use mobile data as a as a backup so also try restoring your router a uh, quick refresh so it can make a big difference you can also on Twitch click um, settings gear in the video player so for example you go for example here tap and go to quality and then you choose you choose a lower resolution like um, 480p or 360p so it depends so for example like this avoid auto if your internet speed keeps jumping because lower quality um, you know equals less buffering and smoother playback also sometimes the stream just needs to recede so for example tap refresh on desktop here you tap refresh on mobile you can close and reopen the twitch app or try switching to another streamer then back again so this forces twitch to rebuffer the feed um, vpns and privacy tools um, can mess with twitch data flow so try disabling them especially if buffering started recently on desktop also test incognito mode so if it works fine there it's likely an extension issue so that's it. So you can, um, for example, if you are watching on a browser, go to settings, uh, like for example, mm -hmm, settings here. Um, you go to privacy and security here. You click on delete browser data and then clear um, delete data from here and then restart the browser and reload Twitch. So with this uh, trick it can work so you can also update or reinstall the twitch app in you if you are using it uh, on your mobile so because old versions equals bad perform performance so go to the app store or play store search twitch um, tap update or install it um, the app completely so also make sure your phone os is up to date so thank you guys for watching and see you in the next tutorial